Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi, and welcome to Postscript. I'm Lou Ann Riley, Grow Group and Discipleship Director, and I'm here with Pastor Ken, who just talked about Barnabas, the son of encouragement. Welcome, Pastor Ken. Thanks. Glad to have you here today. Well, I love this message, loved hearing from Josh from HCPN, mm -hmm. and then taking a look at Barnabas. Mm -hmm. um, and so we didn't actually have any questions um, come in, but I do want you to talk about something. Yeah. I do know that people who work with you and maybe know a little bit more that there is more to just a connection with you and Barnabas, Barnabas. And, and things. Yeah. Can you talk more about sure. that? Sure, right. Well, right. You know, along the way in, in, in my own journey, I think substantially because of the mentoring that I got that I did talk about in the message, um, I began early on, earlier than most pastors, trying to figure out um, well, how could I do for some other guys the same thing that was done for me and, and to kind of begin to move them uh, to the front and coach them and, and, and mentor them and these sorts of things. About the same time, a friend of mine was talking about how it was that John Wesley, who's one of my personal heroes back from the 1700s, how in the building over in London called Wesley's Chapel, there's, uh, there was a wraparound balcony, and it is said that Wesley would uh, sort of position himself at different stations in that balcony when he would watch his young preachers preach. And that way he could see what the responses of the congregation were and, and what was working and, and what wasn't working to kind of coach them to be more effective. And even when I heard that story, I just felt like God said to me, that's my balcony vision for you. And so even way back before we ever had a literal balcony in one of our center courts, I began talking about my balcony vision where I would move progressively to the balcony and work through younger people and coach them and mentor them and, and watch them uh, you know, blossom and launch out and all those sorts of things. And so, you know, the biblical theological foundation for that, I guess my, my, my scriptural character is Barnabas mm -hmm. uh, for, for doing that. And so mm -hmm. when I talk about him, it, it, it resonates in a personal sort of way, not just a, uh, another character in scripture let's talk about, but one that I have always just felt a, a, a special connection to. Now, is that what led you to be interested in partnering and joining HCPN? How, sure. how did we, yeah. how did that come about? Yeah, so several years ago, I was feeling that restless feeling that you feel sometimes if you're a leader, that we've got to start some churches. And the only two ways that we had done it in the past was, sort of taking a person and trying to equip them quickly and, and launching them that I, I wouldn't say was the, the, the best way to do it or to give money to our denomination. And the problem with that is many times um, w when you're part of a larger organization, it's harder to see. Now, what good did that do? Where, wh wh let me cut through all that to figure out where did that go and who did that get to and how was that used and, and, and did it work? You know, and, and so I was feeling this inner sense of restlessness that I wanna start some churches, but how can I do that? So I had decided we're gonna start a church planting school. And I was getting ready to fly up to New York and, and learn from Tim Keller. And, and here's how you have a church planting school. And we were going to do the whole deal. And I'd already told our inner circle. And it's going to cost a lot of money and blah, blah. Well, about the same time, uh, a guy from HCPN who was actually on the video uh, called me up and said, I'd like to have lunch with you. So we had lunch. And, and while we were talking, I was telling him kind of what I was wanting to do. And he listened patiently and, and smiled. And he said, well... Ken, I've got good news for you because we already have 
set up exactly what you want to do. And, but we're looking for anchor churches who are larger, who have some resources, resources, financial resources, experience that you can bring in to, to really make this a meaningful partnership. Um, and why don't you pray about that? And I said, wow, I don't even know if I need to pray about it. I, I think that just might be God's answer because it's already there. And so it was there that our relationship began. We talked about it and our lay elders talked about it and our lead team and everything. And, and, and our business admin and, I, and our bridging budget, I said, okay, now this, we're gonna step in with a big commitment. And, um, but this is the right thing to do. And I feel so good about it. So last year we launched six uh, new churches. This year, uh, seven, mm -hmm. um, and it's all in Greater Houston, uh, which is nothing against launching churches in other cities. I'm all for that as well. But you finally just have to sort of hang your target right. on the wall and say, "Well, this is what we're going to go after." And so we're. Uh, an anchor church in the Houston church planting network with the goal of reaching every man, woman, boy, and girl with the gospel through a uh, partnering together of like-hearted, gospel-centered churches committed to saturation church planting in greater Houston. And that's the strategy and we're sticking to it and so far so good. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Really and it, yeah. So as part of our giving here at big Faith part. Bridge, a big part is seeing the going out, going out. Yeah. Um, to and, guys like and Josh. So guys like Josh mm -hmm. in so many ways, in yeah. so many places. So that's exactly. really cool. It's very exciting. Um, yeah. So thanks for your message today and for sharing that with us. And thanks for being a Barnabas for many of us here on staff. And wow. thank, you. thank you. And thank you for joining us here on Postscript. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org postscript.